If you've been watching my channel for a while, you are not gonna be surprised to hear that I went absolutely bat crazy during the spring Sephora sale. I'm gonna share with you everything I got. I'm gonna try not to make this video like three hours long, but I went hard in the paint, you guys. I'm Ashley, and if this is your first time here, hi. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm here every week sharing my beauty rituals with you. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's find somewhere to dive in. Let's start with foundations and concealers because I got quite a few of those. First up, I got the Kogendo or Kogendo. I never know how to say it. I got their Agua Foundation in the shade 12. This has been on my wish list for a really long time, so I am so excited excited to finally have it in my hands and I can't wait to try it. I also got the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. I wear the shade 1.5. I can get away with two, but 1.5 is my very best match. This is a holy grail foundation for me and I needed to go ahead and restock it. Another holy grail foundation I love that I wanted to restock is this one from Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Hydra Rescue. This is one of my very best shade matches of all time. It's the shade 1N0 Porcelain. It is a fantastic like porcelain that's actually neutral and not cool or pinky. I love, love, love this shade. And this formula is amazing for the summer. It's light, it's fresh, it's got a little bit of dew. It just is really great on days that you don't wanna wear much, but you wanna look very glowy. I got four concealers. Ah, all right, so I picked up the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is the shade G12. So many of you have said that this is a holy grail for you, so you talked me into it, I'm trying it. I also picked up the NARS. This is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is kind of like a putty concealer. This is really good. I only need this occasionally, like maybe once a month, if that, but it's really good for if you ever have a bump and you need to cover up that texture of that bump. Again, I get maybe one bump, one bump a month, if even that. So I don't need this a lot, but when I do need it, I wanna have it. So restocking that, again, shade is Chantilly. I wear the same shade, Chantilly, in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is my whole and grail concealer. So I restocked that one as well. I always love to restock that concealer because concealers, I throw them out before they go bad. I just feel like, especially those that have a doe foot on them, it's just a lot better to restock them sooner rather than later since they are touching your skin. And do not share them with people, please. That's gross. All right, I wanted to get the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and so I did. I got it in the shade 0.5N. I had the shade 1N, but it was a little too yellowy. It wasn't quite pale enough for me, so I'm hoping this one is gonna work. It looks like it probably will. The funny thing is like, I'm so pale that when the sun is out, you can barely see my concealer shades. But yeah, I think that one's gonna work for me. So those are all the foundations and concealers. I did also grab a few sponges. I got three of the Beauty Blenders. I got two of the Pro and one of just the regular original. I love to restock these because I do use them like every time I do them. I'm just like holding my breath. I didn't wake up the baby. <laughs> If you've ever had a sleeping baby, you know like the fear that is instilled in your heart when you drop something and they're sleeping. You're like, Ooh. All right, so that wraps that up. And then I did get another brush. This is the Pro Liner Brush from Sephora. I really like the Sephora Pro brushes and I just needed a new eyeliner brush because I love to do liners with eyeshadows. And so using these brushes, I go through these like crazy because that's, I literally don't even like wearing eyeliner on the top. I like doing it with this. Like today I did like a nice blue with one of these bad boys. So I like to kind of, you know, get a new one every few months because they do kind of lose their sharpness and I like them to be very sharp. Let's move on to eyes while we're on the subject of that. So I did pick up a few liners. I got two purples because I'm wanting to do like a Barbie inspired makeup look, you know, since we've got the Barbie movie coming up, thought that'd be fun. So I feel like Barbie I kind of always think of her, you know, purple <laughs> eye makeup. So I got two purples. The first one is the Endless Plum Shade in the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. Love this formula. You can use it anywhere basically on the face. I got the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil in the shade Purple Cabaret, which is a 
metallic. So really excited to try both of those. And then I got one that I've been wanting for a long time, but it's been out of stock. It is the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Liner in the shade The Perfect Brown. It might be a little too dark for me. We're gonna see. I feel like it's just gonna be a touch too dark for me, but I was really hoping it was gonna be the perfect brown for me, but we'll see. I haven't tried it yet, so we will see. Then I got a few eyeshadow goodies. So I got the Armani. This is their eye tint in shade number 18. I love the Armani eye tint. And I've been following so many like celebrity makeup artists lately for Chanel and Armani. And I don't know, this shade just really spoke to me as like a one and done, barely there makeup shade. So I'm really excited to try this one out. And then I got, I couldn't go through sale without getting a Tom Ford eye quad. I love Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. They're such high quality. This is the Sue Le Sable one. It just looked like a very good neutral. I see a touch of warmth in this one, but these kind of pull a little bit cool to me. So. I think it might be a really good quad for me. So we're gonna try that one out. And then last but not least, this was in my wish list, and this was the Singapore quad from NARS. I've already kind of damaged it with my fingernail, but I just don't know why this was on my wish list, but it was. And so I said, you know what? Let me let me pick it up. You know how you can heart things, you know, on your Sephora account? This was in my hearts, my loves. If nothing else, these tones look like they would go really well on one of my dear friends who has tan skin. So I thought, let me try it for myself. If I don't like it, I can give it to her as like a little gift. All right, let's just dive into our biggest category next. As always, lip color is like the biggest category for me. So first up, I got two of the Gucci Glow and Shine lipsticks. The first one was my cousin Rachel. This looked like a nice kind of like barely there peach shade. And then I also got Ventine Fuchsia. This looked like it could be a gorgeous, like bright Barbie pink. And oh my gosh, like I'm so psyched about the Barbie movie. I'm gonna be doing a few Barbie videos for you guys. I think I'm gonna do like a best Barbie pink lipsticks. Be looking for that. I think I'm gonna do it next week. I can't wait for you guys to see it because I have like been paring down my favorite Barbie pinks and I am just like, I have so many favorite Barbie pink lipsticks, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrow it down to like six to eight. Let me know in the comments how many you think it should be. <laughs> Here's another one that I think would be good for that. This is Rose Cocktail from Lancome. I love these Lancome lipsticks and they don't get talked about much. Look at that, so beautiful. They have like what was my favorite shade last fall. I need to pull it out and share it with you guys. Oh my gosh, I'll do that soon. I also got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kidman's Kiss. This was like a nice soft pinky peach. I didn't have this one. I love that she names these after celebrities. So I didn't have that one, thought I'd go ahead and get it. Also got this shade from YSL. This is shade number 22 and it is, oh man, is it a bright pink? Look at that. Oh, I love the pinkiness. Obviously Barbie was on the mind. Barbie was on the brain. <laughs> I also got another YSL lipstick. I got the shade Rosewood Supreme. I just, I love a good Rosewood lipstick. So that just sounded like something I needed in my life. That's it for lipsticks, but I did get a few extra lip products. This is the Charming Pink Lip Liner from Bare Minerals. This is my current favorite lip liner for every day. I have it on today with a lip oil. And I also got the Serenity Gloss from Bare Minerals. This is a restock. I love this gloss. It's a beautiful, like barely there pink for when you just want like kind of like a milky finish to your gloss, to your lip color that day. And then somehow, I don't know how I did this. I got two of the same shade of the Rare Beauty lip oil. I think I was so like in a scramble trying to pick up this shade Happy because this is the shade I wanted originally that I didn't realize I had already got it. So when they restocked, I ordered it thinking I hadn't gotten the shade I wanted, but I did already have this shade. So since I got an extra one of these, I actually got an extra one of these and I got an extra, I don't know how I did this, I got two of the highlighter. This is like the viral highlighter that keeps selling out in the shade Enlighten. So since I got extras, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. I'm gonna be giving these away and I'm also gonna give away a little exponent vitamin C system to you guys. So I'm gonna give away those three things. If you wanna join that giveaway, just check the pinned comment. It'll have all the details of how you can enter that giveaway because I just, I don't want these to go to waste. I wanna give them away, spread the love. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I just love our little beauty community we have here. And every day that I get to do this is such a dream for me. So just wanna give you guys a little 
something. And then let's just dive into cheeks while we're at it. So I also got from House Labs, this is their blush in the shade Dragon Fruit Days. I have been really wanting this shade. It was in my loves, so I was really excited to go ahead and pick that up. I also got this Cheek Clapper Trio from One Size. This is the one that comes with the cream, the blush, and then like a highlighter shade. I love this bright pink. I've been living for like cool pops of pink on my cheeks, so I'm super excited to try this as well. I also picked up a blush from Nude Sticks. It's been so long since I've used one of their blushes. This is the shade Rosy Posy. It just looked like a beautiful pink, and I'm really trying to find something that's similar to my favorite Victoria Beckham blush because that one's kind of like more expensive and so I'm trying to find an alternative that I can recommend to you guys. So fingers crossed that this one's gonna be it. I also picked up another surprise pink blush. This one's from Armani. This is the shade 52. I'm really into pink blushes lately, you guys. It's, it's a thing. All right, I think we made it all the way through Color Cosmetics, so let's talk skincare. Let's talk skincare, skincare, like face skincare first. I restocked my favorite cleansing balm. This is the first step of my two-step cleanse, my double cleanse I do every night. So this is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. I use it, like I said, every single night. So I needed to restock it. And then I got a few things from a brand I'm loving. It's called REN or REN Clean Skin Care. I've become obsessed with this brand. I feel like it's so underrated and we don't talk about it enough. This mask from them, the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask, this thing is amazing. It's like my favorite skin prep mask ever. If you're looking dull, you put this on for like three, five, 10 minutes and you just look bright and glowy and I just love it. It's fantastic. So had to restock that. And then I picked up two other things. I restocked this. This is the Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. This is a great cream that they have. It's a like a daytime moisturizer. It's really good for redness. Like I put, if I have like an extra reddish day or my skin's kind of reacting to something, I put this on as like my daily moisturizer in the morning and it calms a lot of that redness down. I prefer that to like using a green primer, like a color correcting primer, because I just feel like color correcting primers always make me look like I have more makeup on than I want to look like I have on. So I love having that moisturizer and that's what I use now on days that I need to calm down a little bit of redness. So I also picked this up from Ariane. This is new to me. I've never used this before. This is their Smooth Prep and Plump Essence. It says it's suitable for sensitive skin. I just want to try this. I, I don't own many essences and this looked like a really nice one to go before makeup, like before I do my skincare for my makeup. So I decided to pick it up because I have been loving the other things I own from that brand. So I said, hey, let's try it. And then last but not least, actually I have two more things. I forgot about this guy, but I have the rice wash from Tatcha. So this is their soft cream cleanser called the rice wash. This is the second step of my double cleanse. So every night I do this cleansing balm and then I use this foaming cleanser to do my second cleanse. I love this stuff. It has just the tiniest bit of rice powder in it. So it really makes my skin feel clean and it gets off like some of those dead skin cells because my skin doesn't tend to turn over as quickly as it did in my early 20s. So then the third thing I got, this was the Augustinus Bader Skin Renewal System. It came with the Rich Cream, the Essence, and a Cleansing Gel. I've been wanting to try this brand, and so the value set was already a value, and then I got my 20% off. So I took the opportunity to get it during the sale. Another restock, this is for my body like my body care. This is my favorite body wash. It is the almond shower oil from L'Occitane. This stuff is so good. It foams up so beautifully, but it is an oil, like it lathers up, I should say. This is so great if you have sensitive or dry skin. That is like the only body oil, like body wash I will use in the shower anymore. I also got a fragrance. This is a restock for me. This is Angel's Share from Killian. This is like my most complimented fragrance and I was at the very end of my first bottle of it. So I decided to restock it during the sale. You guys, I get so many compliments on this. It's warm, but 
fresh. I, I don't know. It's so unique and I just have never met anyone else that smells like that. So I love wearing it. Again, I get more compliments on that perfume than any perfume I've ever owned. I did buy not one, not two, but three packs of the Clinique Take the Day Off. I like to use these to wipe off swatches and because my three-year-old loves to play in my makeup. So sometimes I just have to have makeup wipes. I know they're not great for the environment, but sometimes they're necessary. Then I also got the Away body cream in the St. Bart's scent. This is the most delicious scent. I owned the body scrub in this scent and I really loved the smell of it. So I decided let's get the lotion, the body cream, so I can smell like that all the time. It's just like the perfect, it literally smells like you're in St. Barts. Like it just smells like you're on a super luxurious vacation. And then last but not least, I did get a couple hair products. So I got the Olaplex number no. eight. I love this moisture mask for keeping my blonde hair shiny. I went through a lot of problems with my blonde getting kind of dishwater dull and putting extra moisture in completely helped turn it around and now like look my hair is bright and shiny so it loves that stuff and then also for my daily conditioner i restocked that i use the kerastas blonde absolute sika flash love this stuff again keeps my blonde looking bright and shiny, which is what I want in life. Then finally, last but not least, the last thing I got, I got the Dyson, the special edition, gorgeous blue that they had with the long barrels. I have been wanting to get this. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until sale. I'm gonna cross my fingers that it doesn't sell out. It did not sell out by the time the sale opened up to me, so I was able to grab it, and I am so, so excited to play with it. I've been wanting the long version for a while, but I really wanted to get that blue. I didn't wanna get like the gray and pink one. That's just not my vibe. So I held out, and I'm so glad I did because this color is gorgeous. Let me know if you wanna see more Dyson videos. All right, you guys, that's it. That's everything I got. Let me know in the comments below of everything that I got, what are you most excited to see me try here on my channel? I always love to get y'all's feedback. Also be sure to check the pinned comment so you can enter the giveaway. I'm gonna give away that lip oil from Rare Beauty, the highlighter and a skincare system from, I'm gonna do the vitamin C because that's my favorite from Exponent Beauty. This is such a beautiful system, you guys. I'm so excited to tell you guys more about that too. So be sure to check that pinned comment. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself.